<laughs> We're at um, our favourite place. Back in Blackpool. Velvet Grosses. No Malty from the stores. Are you happy? I am now. I am. I feel like in a pizza with a roller coaster. I've just been in, even though it's grey and rainy, just being back on the seafront is amazing. Today is we're here for a different video. We're doing a QA, our first ever QA that we've been threatening for about 10 months. Yeah, we finally done it, so here we are. We got a lot of questions. A lot. I'm glad we waited till we actually had questions twice. Yeah, true. We did an anonymous question box and we got some weird, weird, weird stuff. So that got turned off pretty quickly. <laughs> so we're here to answer the non anonymous. Uh, not, not. My and Nemo. We've got our pints. We also got a special guest. We've got stuff behind the camera. <laughs> and he's going to be answering the question. No, he's not. He's going to be asking the question. Yeah. Crack on. Right, so because we're in Blackpool, let's start with this question What is your favourite coaster in Blackpool? Oh. Yeah, I can what theme park mascot would you take into a boxing match? Oh, would you battle? You could not battle Rory. Oh, sorry, I thought you Bumbaloo. meant with you. Bumbaloo. Like, back up. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he can battle. Bumbaloo. Is that his name? I hate him. I hate him. I've got a problem with him. I don't like him. How did you guys become friends? And also, do you have any differing opinions on rides or parks? Oh, how did we become friends? A lot of people ask this, and I saw Craig and Carl both ask for story time. Do you want to do a story time? Yeah, so um, I was selling a ticket when we were going to school. I don't like skinny rides, you do. Yeah, I don't like flats. I like drop towers. Oh yeah, you I don't. Hate drop towers. Uh, parks that you like and I don't. I, I like and you don't. Uh, we like all parts. I think we like. Yeah, I don't for this one. Uh, your favourite bands and artists, and who have you seen live? Oh, the list, the list of them, so I reckon we've seen about a thousand people live. I genuinely, I think it's easier. We both work to my music, we both have been live music from previous before we came back to Oh, yeah, yeah. I love the bands, I love five sorties. I'm not even sorry. But I also like, you know, like the Strokes, Arctic Monkeys, the Lemon Twigs. Yeah, I'm trying to think what I've been seeing recently. Panic of the Sky. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We like emails as well. What's your favourite park to sit down and have a cheeky ice cold pint in? Oh, easy. Blackpool. Blackpool. Specifically in Houston on the iPod break. People watching. Off the dream. I'll see you there on the internet. Favourite vlog you guys have ever made? Oh, that's such a good question. Trying things everyone avoids about all. Really? Oh, that was a good one. Ty is probably with that part. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Um, I also like drinking pints and saying that we're vibing for 20 minutes straight. That's the horror bar yeah. one when we got flooded on a PB event. Oh, I miss the yeah. What is your bucket list coaster or park? That you want to go to and why? My bucket list park is Dollywood. Really? Nice. I mean, I want to go and do everything Dollywood. Yeah. 
think in terms of booking this coaster, it'll be, I, I must do this year a boss coaster and I can't because I'm still in them. And they will be craving for me. I can't think. I'm just generally, I'm not sure. I, I've been lucky enough to go to like a lot recently, a lot over last year, into the American ones, so I don't know, that's what I think about that. Tokyo Disney Sea as well. Uh, Tom or Austin, who's your favourite? Don't <laughs> <laughs> ask us that, that's like choosing between us and children. I can't pick, you know, I can't pick. Sorry, Tom and Austin. We hate you both. We love us. Same users asked, uh, seriously though, best theme park, Scram? Oh. Nah, it's a struggle in this country, isn't it? Yeah, it's a struggle. Yeah, it's a Epcot. Oh, Epcot, yeah. Yeah, but in the UK, mate, they're all pretty crap. Go outside of Blackpool Pleasure Beach and get them ones. Yeah. Yeah. That we robbed off the TV. Bumbaloo, why am I your favourite theme park? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> One ride that you won't ride again. Revolution. I'm sick of it. Fusion, if we can help it. Oh, no. I really, really, really want to see the uh, ride tester for Blackpool. So if I'd have got that job, I would have it. It's the only reason I'm riding that ride again. No, I know ride. That one in Fort Ventura, the one we went on first, Furious Battle. Oh, never again. Oh, I'll never get on that ride again as well. And the other one? Dragon Park Never again. Yeah, to be fair, it's, I love the PA, but the desire to go back is literally just for Shambhala. Mm -hmm. Who's Park and who's Pine? Oh, we get this one all the time. <laughs> to be fair, it, it, I do, yeah, we do switch it around. Mm -hmm. I like it when I get caught with Pines. <laughs> Bad news. We, we, we switch it up. Yeah. This weekend, I was with Pines. I wanted that. <laughs> What's your favourite drink to have a pint of? What, at a theme park or just in general? Let's go both. Okay, yeah. in general it is a Simmons, yeah. but in a theme park, I like the ones at Blackpool serve, I can't remember what they are, but my favourite is at Chessington Dew, a Stella Cider, and that sounds awful, but it really is the nicest theme park like, I would recommend to try. In current news, Project Exodus, what would you call the new coaster and how would you theme it? It's oh. a good question. That's such a hard <laughs> one. This might help. The same users asked what themed food and drinks would you have in that area. Oh, so we're making it. Maybe a start with that. Yeah. Do you know what? I think maybe it's not happy because we've had lots of horror themed, lots of doom and gloom, the swarm, so. You know, like, Ride right Happiness is like Tomorrowland and all that, like, festival y. So maybe it needs something like. It could just be the Flying Fish XL, they could just theme the Flying Fish. <laughs> 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 just little fish. Favourite album of all time? Wild Onion by Twin Peaks. Yeah. Random as hell, but it's the only album that I can continuously listen to and not get bored of. Uh, I don't know. I just think it's your favourite album. That's a bit of a big question, isn't it? Something else I think is one that could be up there. Yeah. <laughs> the one I've got framed in my room is something else. Great album, 10 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Hopes for Valhalla. Oh, yeah, that's literally all I want. If it, if it opens, it's worse than before. I don't care. I just want to get on it. I miss it. Yeah. Every day. Man's My clock. ideal hope would be that March 18th would walk in and it's just ready to go. Open. I'm surprised. Yeah. 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 Everyone's dressed as high Yeah, it's lapping it over and over. It's soaking, it's freezing, it's rain. Like, that's all we hope for. It. <laughs> in time. <laughs> Favourite theme park memory together? Oh, got a couple. Yeah, okay. What was your the first one being when we went to the first beach together for the first time? Oh. We've been there all day and we decided to go for the last ride of the day on Icon and we all <laughs> went to get in the queue. And like, obviously, at this point, we're brand new to the community. We weren't in the community, we didn't know about the community, we knew about one YouTube channel, and that was the whole life. And we bumped into Sean as we were going for our last ride of the day on Icon and had a little chat with him. And he was on the road behind us and he was like narrating the ride as he does. And it was like being stepping inside a YouTube video, and we were just so gassed. And then we ran around and did it again. Yeah, and I, that was the first time I'd rode Icon as well that day because I was too scared previously, I was scared of rides, and then I finally. 
I can't that day, but it's been open for a couple of years already. Um, and then we finished the last round of the day with a show of the items and we upgraded to our season passes. Yeah, that was a lovely day, that was yeah. cute. Um, I also loved Epcot, just Epcot in general, like the whole yeah. Florida trip in general. Yeah. I also loved um, TT20 when it was so sunny, we were just getting drunk all day, we'd met loads of friends that day. And the days that we just came to Blackpool, we did it in summer and we just sat with like Top Thrill and Craig and like, like and we just got blads all day. I love that, I love those types of days. Yeah. And Parks yeah. and uh, like and Chris. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gemma, yeah. so good. <laughs> If you could move five coasters from around the world to the UK, which ones would you move? Oh, the Lost Coaster, Iron Lazer, Ride to Happiness, Ride to Happiness, um, Fly, Fantasyland, and Crush's Keys. There we go. <laughs> Do you need a third member? Can it be me? Oh no, I don't know why I asked that. <laughs> 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 That wasn't a question, I was just asking myself. Thoughts on white chocolate cream eggs? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have. They're actually bloody lovely. A favourite sandwich filling? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I really like cream cheese and smoked salmon. That's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Two people have asked that actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the people want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Just Any tips for the USA? Tips. Get your rest up, get your holiday um, get, get preparing like marathons in advance, get walking, get some, no, comfy shoes, get yourself some sketches. Be ready to book things, wear socks. Like that sounds stupid, but you're gonna get blisters and you're gonna walk five billion miles or what you get back. Uh, what brand new park are you most looking forward to in 2023? <laughs> Yeah. 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 The only one I can think of that would be for me is Busch Gardens. Ooh, that's exciting. That's a massive new one. I want to go to New Zealand as well. Yeah. I'm going to hit 100 credits this year as well, and I really would like it to be Jumanji. Mantle Mayhem. So if I can fit in nine credits between now and May 15th, yeah. Mantle Mayhem would be my favourite one. That's cool. Um, love your channel. What was it that made you both fall in love with theme parks? <laughs> To be fair, I've been going to theme parks since I was like a kid. My mum and dad always took me to theme parks. Um, so I've, I've always liked them. And I've always gone to Alton Towers every year with my French group. But during lockdown, I, obviously there was nothing to do. And I fell into, you know you get in like YouTube polls, I discovered theme park YouTube. And then I became obsessed with watching, I was watching Sean Sandbrook's Restoring the Bookworm. And then that's when I realised like, what am I doing here? How did I end up here? And we started watching that together. Well, obviously yeah. we were at the same time. And that's how, that is random how we got into it. Yeah. It was absolutely fascinating watching. Random. And quizzes. I was doing these quizzes on my phone. Like, we were sat there, me and my housemates, like, doing these live stream quizzes. Just fall down the worm. Yeah. Discovering the community as well is a big one for us. Yeah. Right? Finding yeah. friends. Yeah. So it's, it's more like about people now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. What do your tattoos mean? Oh, my God. Yeah. So many. Most of mine mean nothing. To be honest, yeah. I just like them. So we've, got, we've both got a girl power one from when we used to do these together. I wanted a butterfly after the um, half of the one in my swear because I've got a feather. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh. But it was just off a flashlight. Yeah. It wasn't like any theme to it. It was just like, I want to I've got um, a portrait of my dog. Yeah. I've got um, an Axe Monkey tattoo. Yeah, the rest, most of the rest, just I just got them because I like them. Yeah. Not yeah. Like the real meaning. There's no meaning behind. In fact, my shin and my calf are both much pieces. They're just great. Oh, like Ooh, we're getting we're getting a new one. Stay tuned. <laughs> Come here. And have big meaning. <laughs> big meaning. <laughs> what were both your first ever creds? Mm. Mine would have been a wacky one. Yeah, mine was either Battle Snake at Nosley or the Horning at Flambards, but I don't know which came first. It might have been Rattlesnake by like a small margin. 
but it's one of those two, and they're both still about. That's cute. Mine will either be a wacky worm at like Butlins, or maybe a wacky worm at Bulbos World in Warrington. Plans for European Parks 2023. Uh, the only one I have a diary at the minute is Lisbon, um, but we will, I would like to go to Zambia first one, maybe anything. Yeah, yeah, that'd be. When is your first trip to Thought Park this season? Ooh, do you know what? That's wrong that we don't know. We know our first Probably trip is Mardi Gras. Yeah, just because life is busy. Mm -hmm. We've got our first trips to Blackpool and Alton Towers and Drayton Manor in like our diaries mm -hmm. and anywhere else. Chessington will be from the Magic, if not before. But I think it will be the Mardi Gras. I'm excited for that. What are your other favourite YouTubers to watch? I really like um, Tom the Noodles. He's the first person I always click on when he's like on my hook because he's so yeah. funny and like he's so underrated. His humour, his edits make me laugh a lot. I think he's yeah. going to do really well. Um, Arch Nemesis. Uh, I'm really into Super and Q's at the minute. Yeah. Top Notorious. Harvey Healy, Sam Costello, Jack Silkson, Marcus Starts Logan, Pro Riders, um, YMCA, yeah, he's absolutely so Oh my god, we could go on. Chow. Chow. Uh, Chow. Uh, Chow. Yeah. Chow. Uh, Chow. Yeah. 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 Chow. Yeah.